Fedora Linux 42 and Ubuntu 25.04 Platypuffin are two of the most anticipated spring releases in the Linux ecosystem. Fedora 42, officially released on April 15, 2025, delivers GNOME 48 with enhanced well-being features, an overhauled Anaconda installer, and a modern developer toolchain, including GCC 15, LLVM 20, and more. Ubuntu 25.04, followed on April 17, 2025, offering GNOME 48 with triple buffering, HDR toggles, a new paper PDF reader, and cutting-edge toolchains for Python 3.13.3. Go 1.24, Rust 1.84, OpenJDK Snapshots, GCC 15, and updated glibc 2.41. In this video, we'll explore their release highlights, installation experiences, desktop and UI features, software management, performance profiles, security and support lifecycles, and ideal use cases, helping viewers choose the best fit for their needs. Let's first go with the introduction. Fedora Linux, sponsored by Red Hat, is a community-driven distribution known for its leading-edge technologies, rapid six-month cadence, and frequent integration of upstream innovations. Ubuntu, developed by Ken Nickel, balances new features with a predictable release cycle. Standard releases are supported for nine months providing strong community and enterprise packing. Now let's talk about the release overview. First, the Fedora Linux 42. Release date, April 15, 2025. Desktop. It ships with the GNOME 48, featuring new well-being controls, accessibility improvements, and performance optimizations. Installer. Introduces a pattern flight based Anaconda web UI in a wizard style, replacing the older hub and spoke interface with an integrated help panel for a streamlined installation experience. Developer Toolchain Provides GCC 15, New Benetils 2.44, GLibc 2.41, GDB 15, LLVM 20, and the latest Go toolchain out of the box. WSL Support Official Fedora images for Windows subsystem for Linux are now produced and documented for easy deployment on Windows hosts. Now, let's talk about the Ubuntu 25.04 Plucky Puffin. Release date April 17, 2025. Support lifecycle supported until January 2026. With users seeking longer support, encouraged to remain on Ubuntu. 24.04 LTS Desktop Features GNOME 48 with triple buffering for smoother animations HDR support via toggle for a compatible monitors A well-being panel and a preserved battery health mode Installer Enhancements Offers improved detection and support for BitLocker encrypted Windows partitions and advanced manual partitioning options New Applications Introduces Papers, a modern PDF reader as the default document viewer. Kernel and Toolchain Debert's Linux Kernel 6.14, Python 3.13.3, Go 1.24, Rust 1.84, LLVM 20, Snapshots of GCC 15, Binitils 2.44, glibc 2.41 and early access to open jdk 24 or 25 net plugin improvements in snapcraft enhance cross platform development workflows now let's talk about the installation experience first the fedora 42 in place upgrades while the dnf system upgrade plugin are almost identical to routine updates requiring only a reboot while fresh installs leverage the new Anaconda web UI for guided setup. Now, Ubuntu 25.04. It supports seamless upgrades from 24.10. Desktop. 
direct upgrades from 24.04 LTS require first moving to 24.10. The Ubiquiti installer now better integrates with Windows partitions, detects BitLocker and provides more granular disk configuration. Now let's talk about the desktop environment and UI. First, the Fedora 42. GNOME 48's revamped interface includes enhanced accessibility settings, well-being tools like do not disturb schedules and performance tweaks. Additionally, Fedora introduces the Cosmic Rust-based desktop spin from System76. Now let's talk about the Ubuntu 25.04. GNOME 48 similarly benefits from triple buffering and HDR toggles. Desktop team refined the default theme and added a streamlined well-being dashboard for digital health monitoring. Now let's talk about the software and development tools. Fedora 42 Emphasis upstream fidelity with the latest GCC 15, LLVM 20 and Go toolchain. DNA remains the default package manager supported by modeler streams and podman for container workflows. Ubuntu 25.04 Showcases canonical Snap ecosystem alongside APT Delivering updated languages and runtime Python 3.13.3 Go 1.24 Rust 1.84 Early OpenGDK and GCC snapshots and improved .NET Snapcraft integrations for developers now let's talk about the performance and system requirements. Both distributions leverage GNOME 48's triple buffering to minimize frame drops and deliver smoother animations. With Fedora's optimizations, focusing on upstream performance and Ubuntu's on desktop polish and battery conservation modes. Now let's talk about the security and support. Fedora 42 retires Python 3.8 due to upstream end-of-life, strengthens Intel SGX support, and integrates Linux DRM panic screen, handling for improved system resilience. Ubuntu 25.04 Ships with the Linux kernel 6.14 and glibc 2.41, providing the latest hardware enablement and security patches. Regular 9-month support suits users who value fresh features with moderate update windows. Now, use cases and community. Fedora, ideal for enthusiasts and developers who prioritizes bleeding edge packages, container first workflows, and upstream collaboration. Official WSL images broaden its appeal to Windows users exploring Linux. Now, Ubuntu. Appeals to broad audiences, from new Linux users to enterprises, thanks to predictable support cycles, diverse official flavors, for example, Budgie, Matt, XFCE, and a vast repository ecosystem, ensuring community and third party compatibility. Now, final thing, which is conclusion Fedora 42 and Ubuntu 25.04 each bring GNOME 48 and modern developer toolchains to the table. But they cater to different prioritizers. Fedora advances the frontier with upstream first updates, a refreshed installer, and a container integration. Whereas Ubuntu balances innovation with polish, predictable support, and extensive ecosystem stability. Your choice will hinge on whether you prefer Fedora's cutting-edge cadence or Ubuntu's blend of fresh features and reliable support. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.